So something about the kind of Coventry deal has not sat right with me and it kind of confirms it, but it looks like the deal as of right now is off. Hello and welcome to this video. I hope you're all doing well and having a good day. So if you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, much appreciate it. Liking up the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people face and subscribing. Let me know you like the channel, hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. So we've been looking at trying to get Connor Coventry in today and it looks like we were all but ready to all be done. It, Danny sounds like he was saying that there's going to be one or two players in today. We've already got one. It sounds like this was going to be a second second one in. Now, we were looking at getting a tw the 23-year-old on a permanent deal. Now, here's the thing. There's stuff that have changed now, and there's been a twist in it, and it now looks like that this deal is looking very much unlikely with his possible di destination being Charlton Athletic in League One. Uh, people said the deal's on life support for that reason and breakdown is not clear, but I have a funny feeling that we, he doesn't want to leave London. I've just got this funny feeling that this lad doesn't want to leave London and you want to stay down south. Just with the way it is, if he really wanted to be here, the deal would have been done and signed because he needs a permanent deal because he's out of contract in the summer um, and it looks like he's going to be going to uh, Charlton. Now, apparently there was a deal that was very close. We don't know if it was this one, but I'm assuming it was. But this is one of the ones where you think what's happened. Why has it gone badly? Has it gone badly due to... He doesn't want to move up north. Has it gone badly in terms of uh, contract negotiations? Is there something the contract he doesn't like or his agent doesn't like? Or vice versa, is it not enough years on the contract? It's a weird one. Um, I like the look at him a lot. And the fact that we could be losing out on this player to someone in League One does annoy me slightly. But at the same time, if one of those ones, if he doesn't want to be here and he don't want to sign for the club, you move on to your next target, next target, next target. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a blow. It is a big blow. The fact that it sounds like this was all but ready to be done and dusted and closed. And it sounds like he was at the training facilities and stuff like that today, uh, talking and having a look around. It looked like we were having him looking really close to getting it all done. And for whatever reason, it's not done. Uh, but again, I'm starting to think it's something to do with location. I have a funny feeling the lad doesn't want to move up north. Uh, why else would you go to League One Char Charlton Athletic? Uh, no disrespect to League One Ch Charlton Athletic. Uh, it's a good signing if they get him in. But it's one of those ones where I th it just feels like a location issue for me. And knowing how look, it'll be something else money related and with us, you never know. But it's a blow, uh, but we move on to other targets. And that's the way I look at it. If we can't get a deal done, you move on to the next one. It'll be a blow for the recruitment team and everybody else in the um, situation as well. And it's been one of these things. It's like an hour ago, it looked like uh, the deal wasn't was, did, didn't mean that it was off. And then also in the same hour, it, it was uh, so the de it sounds like the deal is off, and it um, sounds like coming to Chester United is off, and it's like it's one of those things. This is this is a transfer window. This is what happens in a transfer window. You you may think you've got a deal done and it's all ready to go, but something snags and changes it. And it'll be interesting to see how fast they move on to the targets and who is the next target to go look at. I can't see us being slow. Because we need someone in. The problem is, ideally, you would have wanted over in tonight or before 12 p.m. tomorrow. And now you could have start the negotiation process again. It's a blow. Let me know what you think. But it looks like Coventry to Wednesday is off. 